Hello, welcome. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Taurus. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Taurus, I'm doing your reading today with the, um, the Light Seers Tarot blended with the Muse Tarot in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. We've got the Queen of Pentacles on the split. I want to say that's you, Taurus, of course. Taurus kind of um, being... It's interesting, it's actually coming through as being a safe space, being that place, being that person that is sought out because of the, because everybody feels comfortable around you. The three of materials at the bottom of the deck. So, I mean, maybe you're drawing in people around you that want to be in your company because they just feel good there. That's what the three of materials is talking about. Um, so, okay, let's pull you an overall energy from the Creativity Oracle. Those cards just seem pretty straightforward, so. It's like Taurus feels like home to someone or to, to maybe several people, a group of people, to your family, perhaps. It feels like, though, almost like energy's gathering around you because of that you know what I mean it's like like newly coming in in a sense so it's not necessary it's not like your family is basically what I'm trying to get to maybe it's like a new family beginning to form around you okay so an overall energy for Taurus push that's interesting the word is push So and the image has this figure here with all these kind of lightning bolts in the background. It's almost like, uh, that's interesting. It's almost like an energy trying to push its way in. Because I'm almost seeing this like as, as like a window frame and that this energy is almost trying to, I don't want to say force its way in, but it's kind of coming through in a forceful way because of all those lightning bolts. Let's see what it says. <laughs> don't feel inadequate. Forget how to quit, push on no matter how things look. So that's what I mean about these cards. It's like, this is why I don't, I don't generally go to the book on, in the cards because I just go by whatever the image is speaking to me today. It occurred to me, oddly, it just occurred to me the other day that the way that I read the cards is more like scrying rather than kind of understanding the meaning that is intended with the cards and kind of reading it. Um, it's like I look at the cards and, and it's like they come to life and I see stories and, and thing. I see, I almost see the characters moving or, or understand what it is that they're speaking to me. You know what I mean? So this deck in particular, there is like the, the words on the back very rarely have anything to do with the imagery on the front. And of course the imagery changes every time the card comes up. I've never seen this card before, but it's almost like somebody somebody may be really wanting to be in your company because they feel good there so i want to say that maybe they're not feeling so good wherever it is that they are you're like this safe place it's really interesting actually because what's on the table here i can see that 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 all connects everything that i'm saying so far is connecting to what's on the table here but what what's here on the table i mean we're starting with the temperance card and this kind of comes through as almost like an angelic being Okay, so, I mean, in this one too, I mean, maybe this is an angelic energy as well, but the angelic energy doesn't necessarily mean it's an angel. It could just be somebody who's incredibly angelic or innocent, you see what I'm saying, or pure, or balanced. So there's an energy starting your reading here that almost feels like, well, like it wants to be near you it, because it felt to me almost like it's, it's been watching you. So it was coming through as kind of like a guardian angel kind of energy. But now that this card has come up and this the ones on the split there, it's kind of giving me this, this idea more that it's just uh, an individual, uh, some sort of a, a, a creature. I mean, maybe it's, it's an animal, perhaps. It's because you, we, you know, we often think of animals as, as angels because they're so pure, right? So there's, an, there's a being that has absolute pure love that is kind of like got its eye on you 
And what's interesting is you're coming through with the hangman energy and the eight of pentacles. These were both looking to me like Taurus is actually putting in a lot of effort and a lot of work, maybe to create this really beautiful, peaceful environment, right? It's like there's, it could be taking a lot of your time and attention to really, you know, get things to be so secure and safe feeling. Perhaps you're doing it for yourself, you know, creating this for yourself and, you know, there's just somebody in the vicinity that's really um, wanting to be involved in that, right? So, but what's interesting is I'm seeing, it's almost like there's this interesting thing going on here where this hangman energy often talks to me about kind of stretching yourself. It's like the work that you're doing, or the focus that you're holding, Taurus, is really stretching yourself in a way particularly almost wanting to pull in this energy. How incredible is that? Because it's like you are creating this safe, peaceful place by pulling on that energy almost like from the heavens in a sense, right? Like trying to create heaven on earth, trying to create this peaceful, stable environment to your, for yourself. So it's almost like you're, you're stretching and pulling on this energy to bring it into your environment and you're succeeding in creating that space. But it's interesting because it's almost pulling in a, an individual as well as what it seems like to me. But it also looks to me like this, it's like this, there's a presence. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of, well, it's kind of like two different things. You're very specifically trying to create heaven on earth in a sense. Then there's this kind of angelic being that is like a match to that, right? So it's like by pulling on that energy, it's it's pulling them in as well. So you are kind of busy doing all of this work, all of this creation here. And then I, I feel like outside of your awareness is this one kind of approaching, right? So, I mean, it is kind of like you're creating, you're creating exactly what you're trying to create. Maybe you're not necessarily focused on, it feels to me like you're not necessarily focused on creating it for others. You're just trying to make yourself, your home, comfortable for yourself, but it is drawing in at least one other energy, right? So the night of voices coming up next is fascinating to me because it feels like their energy, right? Like the cards just completely go together. There's, there's an obvious connection there. This is your energy here. Kind of, I almost said on the earth plane. So that's what I'm talking about. It's like this energy is very angelic. So here's you working away and then this energy coming in, some sort of a, a message, I want to say, or, or first contact or communication coming in. And I, this is why I'm saying that you're not seeing it coming because it's kind of coming from behind you. So that means you're not aware of its approach. And, and it's, it's wanting to specify that because that's not your focus, that's not your intention. Like I said, it feels like you're just doing this for yourself or for your family or, you know, not necessarily trying to pull any specific individual in. So that's why it's like, it's unexpected that, that this is coming in. It could be the fact that it's like the news is coming in for you that maybe that they want to be involved in, in what you're doing, or they maybe just want to express admiration for what it is that you're doing. But their message is coming in with the sun energy. It's almost feeling like it's a big energy, first of all. It feels like news. It feels like, um, I don't want to say epiphany, but it's like that. But it's not epiphany. That's not the right word for it. It's coming, like it wants to have words on it like epiphany or breakthrough. But that feels like it's occurring to you. And that's not what's happening. It feels more like this one is appearing to you. And I'm trying to pull in what that word would be. And then the lover's coming next. This lover's card, though, um, talks to me about expansion, actually. It's like um, being able to perceive something that may have always been there or has been nearby for a while but has been outside of your view because this card looks to me like it kind of opens up these hands at the bottom kind of push all of this stuff in the background out and it opens up into something else. So, so there's something about 
this one coming in that whatever it is that they're communicating or the fact that they're even um, in your sights at all is almost like things opening up for you. It's like, where did you, where did you come from? Have you, how long have you been there? That kind of a thing, because it's almost like they're coming in saying, I'm, I'm aware of what you're doing. I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate you, something like that. So there's an energy coming in with um, this. It's like they're familiar with you is basically how it is, because that's why that's what this is talking about, about this. Like it's been there for a while. Maybe just that <clears throat> their appreciation of you has been there for a while. And so they're just revealing it now. I mean, maybe you do already know who this is, but they're they're communicating something to you that is new. It's definitely a new energy in the mix here. So, but there's something really intriguing as well, though, about the fact that this, this temperance energy is, is angelic and the fact that it's kind of, it's outside and it's wanting to come inside with force isn't the right word because that feels too forced, right? It's not for, it's just coming in with a big energy. That's what this is trying to talk about. It's like this, this epiphany, this like grand reveal kind of energy. It's how I like to describe it as like Kramer bursting into the room, right? It's like a big presence coming in. So, and then they come and then the Knight of Pentacles too, right? So the Knight of Pen, this is okay. There's something about this energy because it's showing up as the temperance and angelic and kind of heavenly that's feeling kind of, you know, and it's out, it's outside of your view. It's coming in with the swords energy, but then it's kind of turning into this pentacles energy. It's almost like it's coming into physical reality. It's become, it's coming into embodiment. You see what I'm saying? I mean, maybe we're talking about a baby here for some of you, right? Because I mean, that would make sense with this angelic, pure being, you creating this safe place for them. And, and here they come. It's like they're on their way. They've been around you for a while. That's what it feels like, right? Like a, like a baby. My family, I don't know if you guys are like this, but my family, whenever there's a, a new child coming in, they get, we get glimpses of them beforehand. It's almost like you can... You can start to feel their essence in the house. You start getting kind of glimpses of the corner of your eye. Or you start dreaming about them, right? It's almost like that. It's like it's been hanging around you for a while. And that's that That's that energy of it's been with you. You just haven't, it hasn't been perceivable, right? Because it, it hasn't been physically embodied. But that's what it's looking like. It's like this energy is coming in to the physical realm because it's got the night of, pentacles or it's something like it was a potential a possibility and now it's turning into an actual um possible life experience you know what i'm saying like a proposal or an invitation of some sort like it's it's now coming in this this message of moving it from potentiality into actuality you see what i'm saying so the knight of pentacles and then the the Sorry, the Muse of Emotions or the Queen of the Queen of Cups here next. And then the strength card. <clears throat> this is what I mean. It's like, okay, this Muse of Emotions looks to me um, like a bridge, a dimensional bridge, because it's the water energy. Water always talks to me about consciousness, the astral realm, the ethers, the field, right? And it's like here this one comes kind of stampeding across this bridge and then standing right before you. I know for here it's going from, from male to female, but that doesn't matter. That's not what we're talking about here. We're just talking about, um, well, this card actually had a couple messages, but that's what it's looking like to me. It's almost like, see this one, this one's kind of flying, right? Flying through the sky, coming almost like coming through this portal. And then here's where it kind of, it, it hits, it hits the physical reality and then is, presented to you this is where it comes into your awareness right it announces itself to you but what this card was also talking about is kind of flipping into um you th that this card represents you as well and the fact that the, it being the strength card was talking to me about part of the reason why this 
arrival is occurring in your life is because of the kind of the the powerhouse energy that you hold the strength with which you are setting intention or or building this safe place the work that you're doing has such power and strength in it that the, it's drawing this energy in partly like i said because you are intentionally pulling on it you see what i'm saying um so but the other message that i was getting with this card today is that this this arrival in your life is transformative that's what i see here because the face is shifting to this to this lion it's talking about that it's that this connection or this revelation this reveal in your life is going to really kind of well it's it's is it going to change you i want to say that maybe it's just going to kind of um what am I trying to say here? It's like, it's going to confirm for you the power of what it is that you're doing and what you're working on. So in, in a way, that's how you are being changed because you are uh, moving into, uh, it's like self-actualization, right? Or actually accepting that you've reached that phase, if that makes any sense. It's like acknowledgement of your own accomplishments. It's almost like a pat on the back in a sense. And that that is is a, a change for you that that that's not generally been your experience or or your nature even but it's becoming that as kind of this almost like self congratulations it's a good energy right it's like look at what I have accomplished realizing it's almost like realizing that when this happens that it's completely because of all of the work and energy that you have put in you see what I'm saying. So, I mean, with the five of wands coming next, it's like there's been a, a, a long struggle on your part. There, okay, so this is, and this is kind of showing it to me again, this idea of kind of pulling in something that is non-physical, either it's non-physical, like other dimensional, or it's just talking about like pulling in a potential that has never been realized or expressed before right so it's something that that is not experienced and pulling it into your real 3d experience because that's what i'm seeing here with this the five of wands kind of reaching for this spark for this life force and finally kind of grasping it and then pulling it into the earth realm right this is this is the the kind of it's almost like this tipping point energy because it's like this struggle 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 like not really having sure footing for quite some time but it's it's now tipped into this right it's almost like maybe maybe what i'm getting here is that it's almost like you have worked for so long that you actually it's like you've got to i don't want to say gave up but you kind of just like I need a break. I'm going to just sit down and take a break from this. It's almost like that's when it occurs, right? Because it's going right from this kind of struggle energy. It's not necessarily struggle. It's just kind of hard work, right? Like things aren't easy. This, this, this is not a solid foundation. Everything is kind of topsy turvy. See what I'm saying? But then it's like all of a sudden there it is. That's what I mean. It's like this, grand reveal it's not there and then ta-da there it is right and it's like and it's and it's coming down and kind of planting itself in front of you which is funny because you kind of just planted yourself and then here it is planting itself in front of you so i don't know what i was going to say there so what anyway so we're moving on to the last card here, the page of voices, the page of voices. Okay. So this one has this kind of twirling energy above its head, which is almost giving me this, this idea of spinning around very quickly. And especially because, because of this here, that's coming up from behind you, we could be literally talking about that the way that this comes into your experience is like from like that you're actually going to turn around and see this situation present itself to you. But it's also talking about, 
Okay, well, this is really in, fascinating. I'm seeing, um, like I said, it's almost like reality is is opening up in a way where there's something that's been there that you haven't perceived, but when it's, because I kind of see this as, um, you know, those, uh, those photographs that, you know, mirror each other. And if you move the lens in and out, it kind of opens up like kaleidoscope kind of stuff. It's like, there's been this part of the picture that's been kind of folded in on itself. So as it moves out, it's going to reveal some stuff that's always kind of been tucked in the fold there, if that makes any sense. So <laughs> I'm just like thinking about childbirth again. So, um, but, but what it's talking about is, is that there is this new individual or consciousness revealing itself to you in a very physical way coming into your experience. But there's also this thing with the with the glasses on. I mean, maybe it's talking about you. For some reason, it wants to say that you're going to see yourself differently. That's what this is talking about. It's almost like this transformation or this evolution of your view of yourself. That could be what that spinning is as well too, right? Because it's like something is occurring in your life that is causing you to kind of turn back and view yourself differently. And I want to say that it's because it's a self acknowledgement that this is all occurring because, because of the work and the focus that you did. It's kind of like, like I did this, I did this. So it's, it's talking about that. There's kind of, um, you're ending this reading here with a lot of new, a lot of newness, right? I mean, you do have the, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Materials followed by this card, which is almost like getting a new pair of glasses, right? So there's like a lot of new to discover in this situation because you've got this new individual, this new relationship potentially to explore, but also kind of this new view of yourself that is, it's going to... It's just going to give you a lot of new things to consider. It's almost like having a new perspective to move through the world with because, because it is like looking through a new lens, right? But it's kind of like a new, what am I trying to say here? You are different. And so you're going to be seeing the world differently. See what I mean? So, okay, I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description box and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.